how do you actually implement secure defaults? So a lot of times it comes down to the framework, right? If you have the ability to select the framework or to be able to influence the decision of the framework, you should use secure default frameworks. A lot of the newer frameworks in any language, it doesn't have to be only Java or Python or something like that. Any language, if you take frameworks, web frameworks at least, you see that a lot of them ship with a lot of these security features out of the box. This would be the best case scenario, right? The next best option that you would want to use is obviously use secure default libraries. Now, a lot of times you may use a legacy framework, your application, it's been running forever and ever, and you, you don't really have a choice of framework. In that case, you might have to start resorting to using security for libraries. In some cases, you might have to use security for libraries because for some things like, for instance, SSRF prevention or things like cross-site scripting prevention or for cryptography, you might have to use security for libraries that would essentially block off an entire class of vulnerabilities from creeping into your application. The third best option is really where you take existing libraries that you know have these potential issues where that could have a vulnerability or that could have a vulnerable state and you patch them or you wrap a secure implementation on top of them and have your developers use that secure implementation rather than the original library itself. So very simple example of a wrapper library is that a lot of times we use in especially with uh, JavaScript applications we use a lot of regular expressions, right? Now, one of the things you can do is that with regular expressions, if you don't add a timeout, if you have an abusive user who feeds in a huge input, it might trigger a regular expression denial of service attack and that might cause a denial of service condition for your application. But by using a wrapper library that essentially adds a timeout to every single regex call that's happening, that would completely eliminate the possibility of regular expression denial of service against that application. So you have multiple choices. There was a time when this was not available to us. And today it is available. You do have frameworks that are secure by default. You have libraries that enforce secure defaults. But more than all this, the last point is something that we want to do, right? All of these things are important. You have to do all three things. You might have to do a combination of all of these three things. But the last point is critical because if you can't do the last point, the first three points kind of become pointless. Developers may still resort to using insecure libraries. They may resort to using bad patterns within the existing frameworks. They may not use that wrapper library. Your engineering team has defined this wonderful highway, but you might have that one developer who's unaware or one team that's not willing to do this. So you have to enforce these patterns on developers. And that's really what we're here to talk about, which is how do we enforce this?